So basically this particular mission mode is called hostage rescue and the objective for uh, both, actually it's called hostage grab. So the objective for both terrorists and counter-terrorists is to get in the middle and just grab as many hostages as they can. So uh, I'm playing with bots right now, so you'll notice that they're not acting really stupid. They're acting really stupid. So just just ignore the fact that that's <laughs> generally it's not as bad as what you're, you're seeing right now. So so um, yeah, I mean like the weapons and the guns are pretty much the same as what you would expect in Counter Strike. We've got like basic sniper rifles and like uh, some machine guns and assault rifles and all that. So so it's a pretty uh, pretty comprehensive arsenal. And uh, some of the cool things that you can do also when everybody's not dead. <laughs> Uh, let me just restart the round there. So, so one of the cool things that we have are, is the ability to control a dog. So the dog is really used to it because he's uh, really, really good at actually distracting the enemy. Because uh, if, like, if he bites him enough times, he'll, he'll actually kill the enemy. So, so it's a great way of just uh, distracting the enemy and just coming around the flank and then just coming right up behind the guys and just saying, hey, yo, I got, I'm, I got my dog up there and I'm just wasting eyes. So, so it's a really, really useful, uh, useful tactic to use. Um, what the grenades. <laughs> So as you can sort of see, the game is pretty fast paced. It's like a lot of stuff is happening. So you'll notice that uh, in order to keep things kind of uh, simplified and uh, like uh, make it easy for players to know where they're going, we kind of have this thing in the middle. It's called like a, a centralized HUD kind of thing. And the red dots just represent the enemy and the green dots are the, uh, are the, are the friendlies. So it's a really quick way of just getting your bearings and kind of understanding, okay, where are the bad guys coming in from? They're coming in from there. And holy oh my God. Yeah, generally speaking, players don't come in this fast. These, hosts, these bots are really aggressive, so it's just... But uh, you can sort of see the intense uh, firefights that we have in the game. Our, our levels are pretty, uh, pretty close quarters, and it, that kind of, uh, kind of, kind of uh, makes, makes the firefights really, really fast-paced. So the hostages in this particular mode, I'm, I'm a terrorist, and I'm just pre I'm trying to prevent the counter-terrorists from coming in and rescue them. And one of the things that I can do is I can actually grab them and actually, I can actually kick them into a corner. So it just kind of makes it harder for them to uh, get, get the f over there. <laughs> Sorry. So one of the other things I can do is I can actually grab them and I can use them as a shield. So when you use them as a shield, you're, only, you're forced to use a pistol. So it's kind of like, it's kind of difficult and you can't really see where you're shooting. So it has its pros and cons. But um, that's a really cool tactic that a lot of players like to do. Um, so aside from using hostages or grabbing hostages, we've got a lot of cool props in the game. Like we've got like fire extinguishers and these are pretty useful because Throughout our game, we have like uh, the ability to set off fires. So I can like set a fire there, and like as they come in, they're gonna catch fire. Oh, f come on! Takes them long enough. Jesus, f that's a slow brass grenade. So the fire is gonna be catching on, and like you can sort of see. Oh, Jesus! F they, they don't want to come inside. So as a, uh, if you're like uh, if you if your teammate is on fire, you can actually put them out with a fire extinguisher. So that's a that's another prop that we've got like propane tanks. Propane tanks are pretty cool because uh, you can just sort of set them off and they kind of knock people down. So let me show you a level with repelling. Repelling is a really cool feature. One of the things about our games is uh, we want to focus on something that's a bit more uh, strategic and almost tactical. So the, 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 as a counter chairs, I can actually choose where I can spawn. So unlike in Counter-Strike where the spawns were kind of fixed, uh, in this game you can actually decide where you want to come in from. So one, one, one way of coming in from is actually to come in from the roof. So I can actually choose to spawn on the roof. So a cool tactic that I like to do is actually, I like to repel from the roof. So uh, repelling is done really easily. I can just jump off. And once I connect myself to the repel, I can just jump right off. And then I, now when I'm repelling, I can just walk right up along the walls. It's pretty, it's pretty intuitive, you know, it's just walk right up and down, kind of like Spider-Man. And like if I wanna, <clears throat> so if I wanna get inside, I can actually throw a grenade inside and just break the windows. And just covers my entry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, our game doesn't really have third person, so we're, I'm just using this to show you exactly what it is. So I can actually jump right inside. Oh, get in there. So now I'm just inside. Not just so that that's kind of repelling. So um, aside from uh, repelling, we also have the ability to to do other things like uh, like blowing doors open. We've got these things called breaching charges. So like one way of getting inside a room is basically to plant the door, breach and charge throw a grenade inside and then just roll right inside. So this is a really cool, uh, like just a really dynamic entry. So it just makes it a bit of a harder target. So as you can sort of see, the rolling is a very, it's a very useful mechanism because uh, it makes it a bit of a harder target. But uh, obviously when you're rolling, you can't shoot. So it's kind of a defensive thing. And I don't know, a lot of people have said the rolling kind of makes them want to want to vomit. I don't know. 
I've gotten kind of used to it, so I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but uh, anyways. Uh, so aside from the rolling, we got like the the obligatory leaning kind of thing. Uh, another cool thing is you can actually do a blind fire. So if you're behind certain obstacles and you don't want to like expose your entire body, like you can just do a blind fire. So they can still hit your hand, but you know it makes you a bit of a harder target. So the the problem with blind fire is you don't really have a crosshair and your and your accuracy is really bad. So it just kind of jumps all over the place. You know? So um, that's that level. Uh, now I'd like to show you a level involving cars. So this level is a pretty fun level. Actually, it's one of the most popular levels during our test. So as a counter-terrorist, my job is basically to escort the VIP who's in that car, and I'm supposed to just drive him along to the to a, 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 a destination, and when he gets there, he's gonna get out, and, and basically that's, when, that's how we win the round. So as a terrorist, my objective is basically to go after that VIP. Oops, sorry, yeah. Basically, I'm just supposed to assassinate the VAP and just basically, he's gonna drop a suitcase and then when he drops a suitcase, I can actually just take that suitcase and... Let me just give myself an RPG-7. So this level's got a lot of cool explosives, like for example, the RPG-7. Oh man, that's one tough car. Must be an American. Okay, so now the, the VAP gets out of the car and now I can actually kill him. <laughs> he's pretty tough. Yeah, his, uh, we give him a bit more health than normal because uh, we found that he was dying much too quick. So he drops the suitcase and you can take it. And a helicopter is going to come flying by and I can just take it to the helicopter. Come on down, buddy. Yeah. Oh, no. No, wrong one. <laughs> yeah, we got to fix that. Uh, so now he gets in the helicopter and that's how the stairs win. So this is a really crazy map with actual players because it's really dynamic and a lot of things can happen. Like players are getting inside of the car, outside of the car. So as a passenger, you can actually lean outside of the car. So that, that kind of gives you a nice, a nice ability to actually see. Because when you're not leaning, you're kind of restricted in the rotation. So if you want to lean outside, you can actually like rotate fully in. But obviously, it makes you a much bigger target. So. So like, there's a pretty the cars are pretty interactive. You can actually shoot the tires out. Man, that's one tough tire. <laughs> so anyways, when you shoot the tires out, the cars kind of behave differently. They don't accelerate so well. But if you want, you can actually replace the tires. Oh, Jesus, no. I gotta go back. God, ah, sorry. If you go up to the trunk and use the trunk, you can actually pull out a tire and then just do an automatic repair. So <laughs> that's kind of fun, it's kind of funny. So uh, yeah, those kind of things. And like, you, you'll notice there's a lot of NPC cars, like just like civilians kind of running around. You can actually hijack those cars. So it's kind of like GTA mixed with like uh, Counter-Strike, you know. Uh, we're going to be going into uh, beta in a couple weeks now. Sometime, I think it's probably mi mid-March. Uh, beta is going to last for about a month, I think. And after that, we're going to be doing an op open beta. Uh, that's going to be another month. So I think all in all, we're going to be having this game out sometime in the summertime. Uh, probably maybe June or July, I think.